Hi chat, welcome back to another stream. Today, we're gonna be learning science. So basically, I asked one of my friends that are taking doctor stuff. And I was like, hey buddy, I wanna do a science stream, right? I wanna learn. They said, okay Mika, I give you easy basic shit that you need to learn if you wanna do science stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. Mika will teach us what black holes actually are. So excited to go through the theory. So basically, the black hole sucks things inside of them. That's all I know, chat. I'm gonna be dead honest. That is all I kind of have going on for me. This is gonna sound like a conspiracy theory, I swear to God. But I, I always thought that the black hole didn't exist. It doesn't sound like it's a thing that exists in the world. An astronaut goes to space. And they're like, you know what would be fun? If I approach this thing and My they just die. Hope. Yeah, how do you get the f footage, you know? Black holes are very interesting because their pictures are just dark. Because not even light escapes See? them. But due to That's... the amount of matter and energy being drawn huh? in, the surroundings are brighter than sun. Here's the thing. I thought that black holes didn't exist. Because how the hell do you take pictures? And how the hell do you know what it does? Unless you've experienced it yourself. Maybe there's a deeper lore to it. I don't know. Like, if you look up into the sky at night, there's like stars and shit. And then there is more stars. So like, if you are on that star, you will see more stars. But where does it end? Infinite. That, see, that, that sounds so... I don't know. Like, not real. You want to see what my friend sent me? Bang. Wow. This is the human body. And I have to label what these organs are and the thing is chat i ain't gonna lie i don't know like four of these so first we have the brain right very easy it's located in your head something that we all have but mine is just bigger these are the lungs i know what the lungs look like because it is shown in a lot of like cigarette packs right it's like if you smoke this is what your lungs look like mika smokes no but well, you know how many packets of like cigarette trashes are here in Indo? It's everywhere. Now we get into slightly harder territories. This is the stomach, right? And I'm not gonna lie, this is all I fucking know. Chat, shut the fuck up. You are, you are just saying no to make me feel stupid. <gasps> no, this is the stomach. Okay, 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 no. This is the, 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 the intestine. I'm gonna write down what I think these things are. And then we're gonna talk about it. So this is the vocal cords. That's a fucking corn, my guy. We can go into the reproductive system, right? Which I think a lot of people know about. So there's... Is that a peener? This is for scientific purposes, YouTube. Yes, <laughs> you can see it. You can see half the pee pee. Wait, so that's a balls? I didn't know balls were located in your thigh. I've always thought that the balls were located, like, here. All right, I'm gonna have to zoom in again. I'm so sorry, uh, Neil, but this is for science. According to what I've learned from websites, I thought the balls were, like, here. Like, these are the ball sacks. And the balls are located inside the ball sack. What websites? Anatomy 101. I know that this is the womb area because this is the fallopian tube. And then the, the egg cell goes all the way into here. And then it's gonna like sit here. Right? And then and then when the time of the month happens, this part of your <laughs> womb shreds and it comes out of you in the Need form of pain and blood and suffering. Dollars. If a man and a woman loves each other very much, you kind of the baby's gonna be right here. They're gonna be like, Haku. These are the balls. It also, I'm gonna assume it is not called the fallopian tube. Wait, what are these then? That's for reloads. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, chat. I'm being serious. I'm trying to learn. All right, I don't want to be stupid forever. Oh yeah, so basically, when you first shoot your sh shot, it comes from here. But then because, you know, you want to do twice as a charm, it comes from here. The male G-spot... No, it's not. No, it is not. I'm not judging, but like, if it is, you have to go all the way through there into here to feel good. Those are not the vocal cords. Then what the hell are they? 
thyroid. Chat, thyroid? Is, isn't thyroid the thing in your ass? Like, you know when you have thyroids? It's like, oh, I can't sit because I sat on the toilet seat and now I have thyroids. Hemorrhoids, not thyroid. My brain hurt. I thought hemorrhoid is the meat that comes out of your asshole. And thyroids are the meat that are supposed to be inside your asshole. That is that is what my mom taught me. Like, if I sit in the toilet for too long, my mom would be like, oh my god, be careful. Your thyroids are gonna come out of you. How would you explain the concept of a thyroid to, let's say, a child? Mika, that's why school is for. Do I look like I'm at that age where I go to school? No, I dropped out. <laughs> Listen, chat, okay? It's not dropping out. It's called leaving to pursue something better. All right? The brain controls the body and organ function via hormones that are produced in the thyroid. So, logically speaking, without the thyroid, the brain is like, wow, I am so smart. But I don't know what to do with my smartness. Where should I go? I am confused. And the thyroid's like, Okay, I tell you what to do now. And the brain's like, okay, thank you. And then the brain does things. So if the thyroid disappears, you stop thinking. Right? No. <laughs> what do you mean no? You did That's what you said. Thyroid is Fortnite storm and your player is the hormones. IT helps send energy to where IT needs to be. Please, Mika. <gasps> please understand. Oh. I'm losing my mind. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Actually, that is such a good I, comparison. So the thyroid is the bus. It's the blimp bus, right? The thyroid carries the hormones to where the hormone needs to be via a blimp bus. That's it? Bro, you could have fucking said that this whole time, but you use terms like thyroidinin, thyroidinin, whatever the fuck you used. You could have just said a blimp bus. I've always thought that every time when people say like, oh yeah, you can sell your kidney because you have two kidneys. It's like one and two. I didn't know that there was like one <laughs> and two. Shit! I chat. can sell my the kidneys. Is kidneys cost. Wait, one second. Four hundred thousand dollars! The diagram is bad. If you look on the actual drawing, it is showing the kidneys in both drawings. If let's say I was so poor, right? I am absolutely broke. And I need to sell an organ. Hypothetically, I'm not going to consider this as an actual option, obviously. <laughs> but if I had to, what is safe for me to sell? The brain. Can I function without... Maybe I can, like, have half of the brain or something? There is a Yo. limited stock of eggs in a woman's sure. body. They are considered rare and donor eggs, according to Google. Go for $5,000 to $10,000. I can donate my eggs? Holy shit! Suffer? Plus money. Chat, that's it. I'm gonna quit being a streamer. I'm just going to produce eggs. There's a limited amount in your lifetime. Wait, what? If you're over fi do I fucking look like I'm over 50, chat? I am not going into menopause anytime soon, chat. you shit. Women have a biological clock to produce eggs. This clock expires around the age of 40 and is like a hill that gets steeper as you get closer to 40. All right, you know what? 19 minus 40, right? We're gonna do the math. I might not be smart in science, but I am in money. 40 minus 19 is 21. You multiply that with a minimum amount of money you can get monthly. Or yearly, actually. The minimum amount of money that you are to donate one egg every year. From 19, so that's 40. Once a year, you get $105,000. Multiply that by 12. And you monthly. You'll get 1,000. But that's 1,000 dollars. This would also potentially mean 252 mini Mikas. Exactly. These are the periodic tables. We are gonna memorize them. <laughs> Don't worry about it, chat. I am really good at memory. Helena because Don't judge my memory, okay? This is how I remember. Chativer, sir. Okay, maybe <laughs> this is hard. There's just too much. You know what? Pictographic memory. Give me a second. Let me scan. <laughs> I will show you. I will show you how smart I truly am. I have pictographic memory. H. F. R. A. U. A. G is above A. U. This is. E. E. And then there was. 
He me. A R. And then K R. And then something something on God. O G. And then Bung. Bung. All right, that's it. That is the. I will at least just fill up the ones I know. Helium, lithium. N A is salt. Because nacho. Ah, I'm not stupid. I know it's not like natrium or some shit. One wrong. Is it not lithium? Do you know about number 56, barium? Number 56. You can barium balls in your mouth. L. <gasps> yeah, you will not get in my way of being the OG. Oh my god, wait, there's a small little human here. And whatever symbol this is. Is that the Wi-Fi symbol? Um, this is all I know. Alright, there's no way I'm remembering all of this shit. But can someone explain to me what the fuck an atomic number and an atomic weight mean? The top left number is an atomic number, which is number of protons and electrons. But I don't know what the hell a proton and an electron is. What happens if there are more electrons than there are protons? Then you have an ion. <laughs> What are ions? When electron move around between ions, it's called electricity. <gasps> Is that why there's a minus and there's a plus like a battery sign? Like you know on a battery, they have like a like a plus here and a minus here. Is that to reflect this thing? Like this thing is on the negative side and the plus thing is on the other side? <gasps> The protons are located in the top half of the battery and the neutron are located in the bottom half of the battery. And when you put it into the into the machine, it goes like bzzz, like that, right? And then the plus and the minus combine here and it becomes electric. Oh, okay. <laughs> batteries are physics and one this is chemistry. Uh, batteries are physics? I thought batteries are chemistry. Cuz you have like chemicals in the battery so this guy is like oh my god we're kind of we're kind of a little bit a little bit too negative we're kind of a little too negative do you want some of our negativity and this guy's like honestly same bro we are also pretty negative and then they just do a handshake they do a business handshake so then they give each other the negatives and then now they have it inside the inside circle and then now everything is not negative. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Why did anyone let me do this stream? Why the fuck did my friend think I'm smart enough to do this? All I know is that when a plus and a minus loves each other very much, atoms are born, you see. And then the world went from nothing into something. There was water everywhere. And then there was a big chunk of land. And then on the land, there were animals like parasites and bugs and a, and a really big fish that no one fucking likes. And then dinosaurs. And then, right, the meteors decide to be like, man, I want to join in the party. I want to have fun with everyone else. So the meteor went into Earth and the dinosaurs are like, oh man, I don't really want to have you. So we're going to split. So the land splits everywhere, but the dinosaurs die. And then... The remaining dinosaurs turn into chickens. And then the big fish that no one likes turned into smaller fish that no one likes. And then people start existing. Oxygen has six on outer layer. Need two more for full family. For when full two family. oxygen shake hand, Venn diagram, both have filled layers. Family stable. Wait. It's like when a person is like, hey, I kind of hate my rent bills. And the other person's like, damn, me too. Why don't we live together? And we both can share the same rent bill. And then they start falling in love. And now they have two toothbrushes inside their toilets. And then they're like, wow, I can't believe we fell in love. Because we both were too lazy to pay our taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, atoms do it for tax evasion. They create air in our atmosphere. And then we as humans are like, wow, I hate happiness. So then people take all the air away, all for themselves. And then plants happen. And plants are like, hey man, we're gonna give you more oxygen. And then humans are like, 
fuck you. I will cut you. And the trees are like, oh no. But why would you do that? We are just giving you oxygen, bro. And humans are like, yes, but I like the aesthetic of cedar wood on my desk. Now we don't have oxygen. So people decide to be a little bit creative. So they invented flavor oxygen. What is flavor oxygen, you might ask? Well, kids these days are very addicted to what it is called as vapor. Flavor oxygen is so yummy, everyone. I can't survive without it. <laughs> I am the genius. I am the genius you have never fucking thought of. Chat, this is lore. This is literally lore. My brain is actually fried. Like, I can feel my temple pulsing, chat. I am so smart right now, chat. Okay, so basically... They just work. Why do they work, you ask me? Cause cause they do, scientist said. And then and then we're just like, oh scientist, what happens if it if it doesn't work, scientist man? And the scientist is like, you die. <laughs>